in your perspective, what are some things that coworkers can do to help fellow military uh, members or veterans during their transition? So I think, you know, the best way to, to put it is that I believe that being straightforward and blunt, I guess, is the way to put it um, when it comes to communication. Because, you know, with being with us being soldiers and everything like that, you know, we're so used to just immediately having our sergeants telling us, like, you need to go do this at this at this time when we're meeting. And, you know, it's a set in stone schedule and we had everything to the T given to us. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for us. And, you know, stating the mission objectives clearly, meaning identify the goals, milestones to be achieved, you know, just breaking it down to us um, and, you know, just clarifying the details, the issues, the concerns, um, identifying responsibilities for mission objectives, um, set standards for evaluations, and be clear and forward about the standards for promotions, letting us know, like, this is what needs to be done for you to be at this level of your role. Or, like, if you want to go up to the next role, this is what needs to be done for, for us to even consider you for that role, um, you know, and then completing the evals and, you know, us seeing the evals and letting us know just being forward with us is the biggest thing. And then when giving us new tasks, teach us those new tasks, give us the model that needs to be done and how it needs to be done. And then let us try it out and then provide the feedback and giving us the positive feedback. That way we can take it as constructive criticism and roll with the punch. With that being said, with you being a director, how do you think other leaders with members who are active duty or veterans can help as they transition into the civilian role? So, you know, I, I really like the theme that I took away from, from your previous response and, and communication. And, and I'd have to say that, you know, starting with leaders who just happen to be veterans themselves, uh, the biggest thing I can share or recommend would be that they communicate and share their experiences. Since making my transition about a, a year and a half ago, this is something that's been near and dear to my heart um, and I've taken a particular interest in. And, and so every time I've had the opportunity to engage with, uh, with, with some folks that have already done their transition, um, I'm very curious to understand what they went through. Uh, and, and one of the most common things I've heard and, and I'm, you know, I went through this exact experience myself, it is the fear of the unknown, right? Just, you know, what am I able to do in the commercial world? I spent all this time working with the military. It, you know, how do my skills translate? What will I be able to do? What will I be valued? Um, will I make enough money? Is there job security? Uh, you know, these are fears that are common for all of us. Uh, and, and so just, you know, take the time to communicate and share that you know you went through the same thing and it, and it's it, it's okay, uh, and maybe even offer some tips on what you did to overcome it. Uh, for leaders who may not be veterans, you know, first off, let me say uh, thank you, right? Thank you for your continued support over the last 20 years. One of the things leaders can do to help service members and veterans when they transition is to spend time to understand the skill sets. Uh, and experiences that they bring from the military and how they translate into a, a civilian job, right? So just as much as it's our responsibility to understand how those skills translate over, you know, if you're hiring a veteran, that that's awesome, but take the time to understand what it is that they're bringing to the table. So don't just hire a veteran because they're a veteran, hire them because of what they bring to your team. There's so much more than just a veteran. And then, you know, the last comment I'd make is whether you're a veteran or not, be a mentor. Having a sounding board is just a fantastic, uh, just a fantastic thing to have access to, right? Somebody bounce ideas off to kind of, you know, just express how you're feeling, what you're going through and get some ideas. Oh yeah, that, that I cannot agree with more. That was absolutely perfect. And I really appreciate you taking the time, especially with you being in Germany, six hours ahead <laughs> of us and being on this video and, you know, giving us your insight. So I definitely appreciate you doing this for us. Hey, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate it, Kelly. Yeah, it's been no great. Problem. Yeah, definitely. All right. Take care yeah. and I, I'll see you next week, right? Yeah, definitely. Can't wait to see you in Jacksonville. All right. We'll see you. <laughs> Take care.